What's going on, everybody? Let's take a look at this kick. It's the last of China series. It's uh, some shit I found six months ago. Probably can't even find this anymore. But, here we go. Comes with two batteries. Cheap ass ones. Open up the tail switch. Tail switch button. SOS. Two modes. Works pretty good. You know? That's like. All China. All feels like a toy. Take a look at the multi-tool. Uh, I'm not gonna test everything on here. This looks like a flathead screwdriver. A little thick. File. Can can opener. So and serrated blade and of course pliers and wire cutters it was good in the hand though good old china here's your case your multi-tool it's nice and tight in there button snap Uh, you can fit probably about a one inch belt in there. There's the blade. A little swedge there. Looks cool. Looks like a little water wrench or something. Got some jimping. Not too bad. It's a little deep. But very light knife. A recurve. I don't know if you guys can see that in the camera. That recurve blade. Very thin. It's made in China, so probably ain't gonna break too bad. I wear a large glove. Anybody with a bigger hand than that, not gonna be a good thing. Is it stabby? Why are you whispering? My wife is whispering because she's crazy. Got a button snap for a cross. You got your button snap for your top of your handle. I'm already getting annoyed with this strap here. So. strap is right handed so I don't, I'm not understanding that so it doesn't go across the finger guard so I guess this is for a left left handed person see now it goes over the finger guard there that's how that's supposed to be so we got a left handed knife that's different Uh, there we go. And now uh, you got this other one. Go around the handle because those cross, those usually aren't good enough to hold the knife in. Right is in the sheath, has a plastic insert. <coughs> Huge belt loop. Definitely can fit on a gun belt loop, no problem. 
it's more than five inches. That's pretty big. China. All the tools are on the outside. So let me grab a straight edge blade there. It's kind of sharp. Burned up all my wood, so. Test the sharpness. <coughs> Press really hard. That's pretty dull. <laughs> yep. It just gliding. It needs a touch up. That's bad. That's terrible. You're gonna have to sharpen that. That looks dull. Yeah, it doesn't even feel sharp down here. That's weird. Okay. That's garbage. Test is serrated. That's gotta be super bad. You gotta dig it in order to get it to. There's no gliding. There, there we go. Just jump. Got some fluff. So, you know, take it for what it is. I think when I bought this, it was like 14 bucks. So, you get all this China crap for 14 bucks. Well, I did. I don't think they sell this shit anymore. Way to focus, phone. Way to focus. That's, you know, good job. Piece of shit. It's hardwood. You can hear it. It's definitely a blade you don't want to do this with. And I feel that in the handle for sure. Taking it. There's a tip there.
very thin, so you know, it's not gonna go through much. But tip is good. Eyes still straight. Nope. <laughs> I bent it. Hopefully, you guys can see that. Yeah, it's bent, but hey, shit's still, still holding. China. Got my Nathan 4071's power rod. He made it, bought it off his site. Wicked freaking nice. Let's see, the only part I feel that's sharp is uh, this side right here. Definitely throwing some sparks. Out of doubt. There you go. China. Have a good one, everybody. Much respect. Much appreciation. I'll just power. Practice makes progress. This kid is poop, but it works.